Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while uh, since I made a video, but thank you so much for checking this one out. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ron. I'm a professional oboist and I make YouTube videos sometimes. In today's video, I am going to compare reeds that I made with cane of different varying densities. As a student, I had heard a myth that the best reeds are made with very dense cane and I'm like really happy to be disproving that today. There is definitely such a thing as cane that is too dense. Stay tuned to hear me play all these reeds of varying densities. First and foremost, I would love to thank oboshop.de for sponsoring this video and supplying all of the cane that I used in this video. They stock cane, reeds, reed tools, accessories, sheet music, instruments, and so much more. Definitely go to oboshop.de and check out their stock and you can use code OBORON to save 10% off your first purchase of $50 or more. The cane that I used for this video is gouged and shaped by oboshop.de. They've sorted it out into four levels of density, starting from low, medium, high, and very high. All of the cane has the same diameter, 10.25, and is shaped on the Mac Pfeiffer. Bassoonists have been testing density for their cane for years, literally, but oboists usually don't. I wonder if density is gonna be like a really great predictor of whether a reed is going to play in the way that you want it to, with the level of fullness of tone and dynamic range. Uh, maybe it's gonna affect the opening um, and the quality of sound. There is a correlation between hard cane and dense cane, but apparently a piece of hard cane might not necessarily be dense. All of this cane is density tested using the Rieger machine. Okay, so I made three reeds off of each level of density. I'll play these reeds from you starting in the highest density and decreasing to the lowest density because I had heard the rumors. I thought that the highest density was gonna make the best reads and I'll let you be the judge. So this one is very high density. Okay, that's one. This one I feel like the opening is a little bit too big for my liking, um, but the other reeds seem pretty nice. A little bit resistant. I really feel like I would need to break at least the last two reads in uh, a little bit more. None of these reads have really been played on. They're all just like freshly scraped um, and I adjusted them a few times. What I found with the very high density cane is that it takes more time to make the actual read. It took me quite a few attempts of finishing the read until I felt like the read settled a little bit more. And even then I still do feel like the last two of these three reads need to be uh, sort of broken in. So I feel like it's a really nicely balanced sound. It's like rich and deep, but it's not too hard. Pretty nice, let's go on to the next. I, I like 
like this read too. It's nice, it's fine, uh, easy to play on. Uh, I wish it had a little bit more flexibility, uh, but other, other than that, fine, totally great. This one I find is like weirdly too vibrant. I don't know. I don't like, I sort of feel like I have to do a little bit mouth acrobatics on it. And the opening is definitely bigger than what I'm used to. All right, let's try the medium density. Perfectly fine read. It's slightly less like humongous, like maybe less of a Mahler sized read and more of maybe a, a Bach kind of read. Yeah, I really like this one too. Um, I feel like it's just the right amount of flexibility. I feel like I could definitely play it in orchestra. The sound is very pretty, very layered, very complex. I, like I, I was worried that I'd get to the medium density and I'd be like, oh, this is unusable. But I actually think that the medium density is probably what I usually use. Like this is, I think, most similar to the reads that I usually make. It definitely sounds complex enough. Like I would worry with the medium that it would just be maybe dull or boring or um, yeah, not interesting to listen to, but I really like it. Now going to the low density reads. three too it's like not as much to blow against like it's just a very free-blowing read and I found it the easiest to make reads on quickly um, in my scraping process this one opening looks a little bigger I'm not crazy about this one but I don't know it doesn't feel like the problem is the density, like it doesn't make sense. It sort of feels like kind of similar to the ones that are very high density. So kind of threw me for a loop a little bit. Here's the last read. Okay, so these are all the reads and their various densities. I'm curious to hear your experiences with density too. So definitely write in the comments if you have used different density cane and you have a density tester either through your school or you own one, uh, please let me know what your experiences are. I'm really, really curious. Basically in my experience, the only real difference was how long it took 
to finish the read. I felt like it was a lot easier to finish the read on the medium. I don't really notice such a huge difference in sound from read to read. They all pretty much sound nice. The openings are different, but like I, I just don't feel like the density is the factor here that's affecting the opening. I think there's, you know, individual piece of cane obviously has an effect, right? We can try two exactly should be identical pieces of cane and we get different results. So I think that density for me is not going to be the biggest thing that I'm going to be looking for when I order cane or when I'm uh, selecting cane myself to gouge. However, maybe when I'm trying to make sure that I have reads that are like scraped quickly and I can use them in rehearsal in, in the same week, um, perhaps like a medium would probably be the best. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope this was really interesting or helpful to you. Good luck on your oboe journey. Let me know if there's anything else that you want me to cover in a future video. I hope to be making videos a little more regularly. No promises. Please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button below. It actually like makes a huge difference for the algorithm. Like, thank you, YouTube algorithm. Additionally, if you're on Instagram, connect with me there at oboron. Have a great day.